Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of AmiBroker tutorial videos. Uh, this one is a reader question. A big shout out to Andrew who uh, who's at my website. And Andrew says, Hi Dave, is there any chance you could show how to do a Monte Carlo test? Thanks Andrew. Yes, absolutely there is. And that is an awesome question for the simple reason that when we do our trading system, we want to do a Monte Carlo test or a thousand different versions of our test so we can see the range of possibilities when we actually use it going forward. So in other words, we're not surprised if we only make 15% when our single back test might have told us 24%. Now, to give you an example of that, or just the trading system we're gonna use is a trend following system. A really, really simple one. It's a 20 week um, buy, highest high, and a 10 week low, um, you know, a close below the 10 week low for a sell. So if we go to our analysis window here and just do a really quick back test on the ASX top 200, Yes, this is Australian. Sorry, guys. Yes, for the Americans um, or you know people in other parts of the of the world as well. You can do this on your own index uh, or on your own world of stocks. Absolutely. But if we click report and just get the details here, so the the average annual return we've got is eighteen percent, and you know it's got a it's got an equity curve that's moving up. Happy days. This is over the last fifteen years. A maximum drawdown of about 30%. So this is from one single back test. Now, what we want to do is see the range of those results. So there's a very simple way to do this, and it's for any version of Ami Broker. Um, if you've got the latest version of Ami Broker, it's actually built in, uh, but I do not have that. So I'm going to show you for all the people who just have the older, older versions, um, which is, you know, pretty cool. That means anyone can do it as well. Now, the way we do it is a little thing called position score. So position score, usually it would be alphabetical. So it would, the, if we had 50 trades that we could be taking at one time, Ami Broker would, would score them alphabetically. So it would take the A's first, the B's second, the, the C's third, and so on and so on. By changing position score, if we say position score random, and then just, because it turns blue, it wants us to open the bracket, remember? And then we just close that because there's nothing to put in there. And if we just close that off with a, a semicolon. Now we've said position score and it's turned bold. So that means that Emmy Broker recognizes it. We've said random and it turns blue. So that means that Emmy Broker recognizes that as well and it expects the, the brackets as well. So we've done all that. If we were to simply put that into our trading system code, then that would give us random results um, for our position score instead of grading them alphabetically. So sometimes it might be, you know, you might take the Zs first or the, the, the Ms first, for, for example. Now, that's all very good for a single backtest, but what if we want to do, you know, a thousand different versions of this? We can't just sit there clicking it a thousand times. We really want to actually, you know, let Ami Broker do the work for us. So to do that, we're going to just trick it a little bit and use the optimize function. So optimize, I have a video on this um, previously, guys. Check it out. It's at my website. It's asxmarketwatch.com. But I optimize, and again, it turns blue. So we need to open the bracket, and it tells us what we want to put in. So the name is just our, uh, this is the amount of tests, really. That's our name, separated by a comma. Now the default, we want one test. The minimum, we want one test. The maximum, we want a thousand tests. And we want it to step up by just one test every time. So in other words, it goes from one to a thousand, and that will give us our thousand different tests. Now, it, we're not quite finished because we've assigned that to an array. So PS is what we've called it. We could call that anything, guys. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So it could be, um, it could be, we could call it awesome. And then we could just use, every time we used awesome down the track, if I could spell it correctly, of course, then it would optimize from one to a thousand as well. So let's just, for simplicity's sake, let's call it PS and we'll get rid of my silly language there. Um, so position score equals random, and now 
if we just multiply that by the array that we set up, which gives us a thousand different tests, then it's going to give us a different position score for every time it runs, and it's going to run a thousand times, thereby basically giving us a Monte Carlo test, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's just go ahead and use that for our code. And I know I get a little bit excited about this, but it is absolutely fantastic stuff. Now look, this is all stuff that I've covered previously guys, I'm not going to go over it again. We've got 20 positions at one time, 5% in each position, so no more than 100% of our equity. Um, there's our highest high, lowest low entry and exit signal. Um, I've got an index filter in there as well, just based on the, um, the index traveling up over the 75 day moving average. And um, yeah, that's basically it, then I've, then I've plotted it here as well. Now I have shown you how to do all of this in other videos and as you can see there's the plot there. So you can see that you know as a trend following system it you know it does follow those trends it's pretty cool. So to to make this work and we've gone to our uh, analysis here analysis window we simply just pick the right one that we want and I've saved it previously as highest high trading system. So we've got it up there, and instead of clicking backtest, we click optimize. Let's do it, and it gives us a warning. It requires a thousand optimiz optimization steps, which is what we set up, which is perfect. Now, that's actually not too bad, so we'll proceed with that, and it'll give us an indication of how, how long it will actually take. So instead of us having to do a thousand different versions, um, and it, to be honest, that would probably take me a year to do. <laughs> it really would. Um, you know, maybe a month at the least. And Ami Broker here is actually doing it in 16 or 15 minutes. So that is pretty good. We're just going to fast forward 20 minutes here or 15 minutes just to see the end end result. So it gives us all of our results from one to a thousand um, in this window here. Now, what do we do with that? We actually go file and export, and what we want to do is save it as um, as whatever we want. In this case, I've just got highest high Monte Carlo, and we just simply want to save that as our CSV. I've got a couple of examples in there already, so we'll just save this as the new one. Once we've done that, we want to go back into it. We want to save that as a proper um, Excel file. So if I go computer back up in here as well, and we just want to save this as an Excel workbook, XLSX file. So that's the that's the proper one there. Save that. Now the reason we do that is just so that we can, can add charts to it and play around with the numbers properly. It's actually a lot better. So guys, I hope this has helped you in some small way. Check out the website. I've got so many more free videos. You will absolutely love them. Um, and they're a great way to get into trading systems and into Ami Broker, particularly. There's nothing like a little bit of free to brighten up your day. Um, guys, have a great week. Happy trending until we meet again. And bye for now.